Hey everyone, Joe back with Grill Joe's Barbecue, and today we're cooking a thick old steak. Look at that. Now, I've cooked a lot of steaks, I know. It's one of my favorite things to cook, but this one's special because I'm gonna be finishing it off in my homemade cowboy walk. Look at that, guys. This thing's massive and it's heavy. I found this at a thrift store. It was all rusted, it didn't have the handles, there's a hole in the bottom. Took it home, me and my dad sanded it up, welded on some handles, welded a patch in the bottom, and then I've been seasoning it in my oven for the past week or so. I have a real nice seasoning coat on here. I'm gonna smoke the steak in the char griller with my meat stick, of course. Once it gets up to about 120, I'm gonna pull this bad boy off, and then I'm gonna sear it on the side of this cowboy walk. But while that's cooking, I'm gonna take some potatoes slice these up into some circles. I'm gonna smoke those in the char griller for about an hour, get them a little softened up. Then I'm gonna put oil in the cowboy walk, sear those potatoes off, make them nice and seared and squishy. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, before I get into the cook, I gotta remind you about the thousand subscriber giveaway coming up. We are so close. We're over 900 and look what I have in my hands. The finished custom cutting board. This will be given away. I do wanna state you have to be a US resident to win this. If I draw you and you win the cutting board, I'll probably send you a sticker, but I, I don't think I can ship this outside the US. So we got this awesome homemade cutting board. It's, this is beautiful. I wish I could use this right now. And I, I gotta set it to the side or else I'm gonna end up cutting on this. We're also gonna be giving away a meat stick. Not sure which one we're giving away yet. I'll clarify that uh, in the future, but I use this thing on all my cooks. I love it. And we're gonna be giving away some Drunken Chef Spices. I'm gonna give away the trio. We have just salt, pepper, garlic, and then you have a jalapeno and a habanero version. These are awesome. So, let's get into the cook. All right, I'm starting off with the potatoes because I wanna get all this prepped up on my board first. What I'm gonna do is cut, say about that thickness on my potatoes. We might end up just taking the skin off. like that. So I'm going to prep up all these potatoes and get them on the smoker. And if you don't feel confident in your knife skills, you can always just peel the potatoes first and then cut them up. This will be a fun experiment. This is the first time I've ever tried cooking potatoes like this. If you watch my Thanksgiving sides video, I did do mashed potatoes in the smoker. And I wasn't extremely happy with how those turned out, but I think this is gonna be a lot better. I'm gonna call that good. What I'm gonna do with those potatoes, put them on this tray. I'm gonna have some cooking spray. This is just butter flavor, just to get a little moisture on them. And then I'm gonna do some salt, pepper, and garlic. Then I'm gonna throw these on the smoker. Time for the main course. Look at this beautiful bone-in ribeye. I'm not gonna trim anything off this. All I'm gonna do is salt, pepper, garlic it. I'll get those edges. That is looking beautiful. Then I'm gonna put my meat stick at. Hit set up cook. All right. After hit set up cook, I'm gonna go to grill. I go beef, steak. This thing has a set at medium. I'm gonna take that down to a rare, but I'm actually gonna make my target internal a 120. That's when I want to pull it off. And then ambient temp, I'm going to set it to let me know if it gets above 250 degrees in my smoker. And next, sending cooked meat stick, insert completely. I'm going to try to get it in the middle and all the way in. Start cook. All right, now this is ready for the smoker. It's pretty windy outside. That's why I'm gonna keep this fire going. Only me by it. I got some 
Tiger McCool Barbecue Supply Fire Cups. Let's go ahead and put two of them underneath here. Probably only need one, but bigger is always better. All right guys, according to the meat stick, we're at 118 degrees, about 200 degrees inside the char griller. Let's take a look at it. Go ahead and put this onto this tray. We'll get it over by the fire. Alright guys, got the cook all in. It was a little too windy out there to do much talking. It might be a little too loud to hear with the wind going. But everything worked awesome. I just need to build a better base for that walk, but I'm real happy with how this turned out. So let's take a look and get into it. There you go. These potatoes, as you can see, I uh, had to test one here that I got a bite of first. Fantastic. As this is a bone-in ribeye, we got the bone right here. I'm just gonna cut that off. down along that bone. Oh yeah. There you go guys. Perfect. How I like it. Potatoes. They could have used a little bit more time, but they're still great. Let's try out that steak. I'll probably have to throw these back on the cast iron for a little bit for my wife to eat these. This is a little more rare than she likes it. For me, this is awesome. Got a pretty nice crust on it off that wok. And the potatoes, I think they're great. Mm. You get a smokiness hit to it, and then you get that, the fried potato taste, obviously. But it's so nice having that big wok, you can do it all at once. I think cooking with that wok is a success, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more cooks on it. I'm gonna get the base a little better so it works a little better together. And make sure you guys are subscribed. We got the 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. Thanks guys, have a good one.